So no, it's not just simple as a sorry at this point. It's also you hurt my, you tried to hurt my reputation. People who are surrounding you tried to hurt my reputation, her best friend, Amanda Jean and Cassandra Fairbanks. And uh, you affected my business. So if she truly was sorry, she would not only come out with the truth, get my account unlocked, remove any sort of ban that was put on people who posted things about her, her own recordings she posts on her own websites. And she would also put her money where her mouth is. You costed us money. This is a business. This isn't, oh, ha ha, petty drama. You actually are a free speech advocate, so to speak, and you're deplatforming people and you're costing people money, you're costing people's livelihoods. This is beyond an apology at this point. Sorry is not going to do it. That's cheap. It's, it's not going to be enough at this point. Nerderotic.com. This thing is getting nuts because uh, what I'm more concerned about is, you know, the censorship on Twitter. That's my concern because it just seems like it's just the old Twitter again now. It's almost acting like, like ever since you guys got taken off, like other people have been taken off for stupid reasons. And it just feels like Twitter from five months ago already again. Yeah, exactly. I'm still locked out of my account. I saw quartering is able to access the account. I didn't have time to get in a call with him before I hopped on here, but I think he deleted the tweets because my account's still locked, but he posted a uh, update thread. He like came back and chose violence. It's just like <laughs> really a okay. long, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull it up. It's like a yes. long in-depth, concise thread. Excellent. I like that. Oh, wait, why not? At, at this point, it's like, uh, we, you know, I got my hopes up a little bit about Twitter, but you know, I, I could live without it. I, I guess for this audience, would you like to briefly, uh, as you can, you know, bring us up to speed on like how we got here? Okay. So basically for those of you who know Jack Murphy, this is Jack Murphy 2.0 in combination with the Streisand effect. And some people have even called it uh don't fuck with cats 2.0. So basically <laughs> I tweeted Eliza Blue because people were coming to me concerned because I've covered things like trafficking, um, anti-porn, and, and studying into prostitution, things like that, um, in order to bring awareness and also help my position on it and to be more well-informed. So people were DMing me because of that, like, hey, this other trafficking advocate is, you know, her timelines aren't adding up. And there's things here that are strange, and we think that she's a fraud we think that she is a grifter and you know normally we hear that about everyone all the time as youtubers like your friend is a grifter this this and that so you know normally we just kind of like brush it to the side um and that's that brushing to the side is exactly why eliza got away with this for so long so i looked into it because they came at me with the receipts this time they gave me the thread from defango who's now i guess suspended off of twitter and they also gave me a few music videos and gave me some concise points. And I was like, okay, well, I'll look into this. You made it really easy. So I looked into it briefly and I was like, okay, this is a red flag. This is very strange for a sex trafficking advocate to um, say that she was trafficked. And then you see all these music videos of her uh, dancing around in lingerie, cupping her ass with her see-through top. And it's like, she's saying, I'm tra I was trafficked. And that's really strange behavior coming from a trafficking victim. Like, sure, maybe some victims will cope in a certain way, but things were looking really strange. And so I was like, well, I don't know, maybe like, is this her getting trafficked? I'm like really confused because this video has been up six years with thousands of views, public on YouTube, no age restriction. And it was also world hip hop, world star, and for the same amount of time and had half a million views. So basically I tweeted her with screenshots from this music video and I hesitate to call it a rap music video because that's not actually what it is in my opinion now that I've gone through uh, all of the receipts and all of the things that people have been sending me because in the in the rap music video air quote there's a guy rapping right but he's not listed anywhere he's not like in the title or anything it's like all about her it's called like eye candy eliza knows eliza knows you, was her old name so it's just eye candy eliza right so literally like eye candy uh -huh. it, it's like right uh -huh. in your face right to look at her and then it's just her in the video like doing like kind of like a strip routine and like um and scantily clothes so i posted screenshots of that and i tweeted at eliza and i said Hey, I know this is really hard to, this might be a sensitive topic for you, but can you clarify some of these timelines? Because people are saying your age isn't adding up for the dates you provided. And also this music video is going to cause a lot of confusion for people who are going to look into this, be like, wait, you were trafficked? Are you just lying? Because if you're in the rap music video and people are saying, are seeing her say, oh, I'm trafficked, 
they're going to be really confused. So I really was not malicious in asking her. I just posted screenshots mm -hmm. for a frame of reference so people mm -hmm. could know what I'm talking about. So she can know what I'm talking about. And uh, next thing I knew, my account was locked. And then Nina Infinity sent me a screenshot of Amanda Jean. And uh, I was like, huh, this person's claiming they got my account locked. Then I showed it to chat. And then my chat was like, she's friends with Eliza. And I was like, no way. So I opened up Eliza's page midstream. And I'm like, holy shit. She's saying, Amanda Jean, I trust you more than anyone. Thank you for being there for me less than 24 hours ago. I'm like, this smells fishy. So, and not just because she opened her legs. So um, oh. I went ahead. I went ahead and uh, gave the benefit of the doubt to Eliza, like, hey, if this is your bestie doing this, you would know about this. I'm, you know, I'm going to give you a little bit of time. If you disavow it, you disavow it. Speak up and help me get my account locked. So a day goes by and Eliza tweets out that she is going to basically sue me and uh, that she her non-consensual images were posted. And her bestie claimed that they were non-consensual nudes which is libel. They were not nudes and it was not non-consensual. As we found out later on through interviews, through recordings that she posted herself, she was excited to audition for World Star. She got compensated to be in this music video. And she's across several interviews talking about how many rap videos she's in. Uh, she's a video vixen. She's in one video calling her mother to brag about it and laughing about it. And then you find out later, she's in an interview with this other chick who has like pinkish purple hair too. And um, she is like, yeah, the, the woman interviewing her. Yeah, I used, I, I was an ex prostitute. And she was like, yeah, we didn't have a word for it back then. We didn't have it. But Annie, we didn't have the language to put to it. We didn't yeah. have the language to put to it back. Eliza said we three times. So uh -huh. she's admitting she's had sex for money so she's using trafficking as a way to kind of cover up her past because she has strongly heavily implied many times uh that these rap music videos were non-consensual the one i posted which clearly was she admitted to it in recording and she uses we for ex prostitutes so i came to the conclusion through sifting through everything through looking through her model uh mayhem resume site um it said an email and it said Helen Troy booking at Gmail, something along those lines. So I looked up what's Helen Troy. And I look it up and I'm like, this looks like an escorting site. Like they're like book a model. And then it's just girls who are like half naked. It looks like straight out of Playboy. So I'm like, this is weird. This looks unprofessional. The site's down. It's, it looks like a storefront to wash money. That's what it looked like to me. So in my personal opinion, I think that she's trying to cover up that she prostituted herself. And I think that she's trying to cover up something else she did in that time period. And these two things conflict with her story of being a trafficking uh, victim, which she uses a lot and says a lot and asks for money on podcasts like from Hotep Jesus. And then she'll turn around and say, I never get money. I don't ask for money. Poor Hotep Jesus. So he got like shook down live on stream. Like, Haha, you're going to give me the money, right? And he's can't. like, uh, I guess. Uh, he, she did that to it. What? Okay, yeah, because like li live on stream, he's like, oh, I guess I'll give half the money to trafficking victims for Eliza. And then she's like, actually, um, I'm a survivor advocate and I'll take the money. But, you know, no. I'm a survivor advocate. She's like, I'll pocket the money. So but what is he supposed to do if he's on stream? She says that. Oh, no, I'm not going to give you the money. I'll bet Jesus is about to rake in on these super chats. And give Eliza zero dollars. That's not true. Uh, all right. See? Yeah, I'll send over my I'll text you my cash app, my cash app. Cash app dollar sign E L I Z A B L E U. Um he's like 50% of proceeds tonight go to Eliza Blue. You send Woo! 50 50% of all super chats will go to Eliza Blue tonight to help human trafficking victims and to raise awareness. Trafficking victim, that's gonna help is me. And I'm a human trafficking survivor, but let me tell you what it can help by. Number one, I don't have internet at home. Number two, I wasn't Whoa. set up for computer at home. Most of Jesus knows this. Number three, I borrowed this beautiful light that's giving me this look from my barber. Wow. So help your help. Oh, your who's girl. coloring your hair, girl? Because that ain't cheap. I'm being a public survivor. No, it's not. I'm doing contact theater and keep doing interviews like I am. Oh my god, I just sounded like. Uh, and the other interviews I have coming up. If you want me to be good, help help a sister out. Help me out. And help and a sister out. Help a sister out with uh, her her facial work. She's clearly, you know, I'm not judging here, but she's had a little facial work done. You can see it, and uh, and that hair ain't cheap either, because I know how much my wife she used looks to charge. High maintenance. 
For sure. Oh, f- for sure. And anybody who, like, what? Y- you're sitting there advocating. It's like, oh, it's going in my pocket. That's that's horrible. That's horrible. That's freaking terrible. A- yes. Yeah, so in this tweet, like, you can see she's posing with the black eye that she mysteriously got. And uh, if you read it, it says, this is what human trafficking really looks like. You bruised yourself to look like this for money at countless survivors and victims' ex- expense. I mean, that's essentially what she did. Um like use them to get ahead and promote herself as a survivor advocate. She got an award for virtue signaling the most the other day. So what? Pretty really? Much. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's a, it should be on yours. So quick forward. It should have. He didn't. Yeah, I'm sorry. He didn't. He didn't do a mashup. I apologize. Okay. They literally had no examples to show <laughs> Eliza and her good work and her advocacy for the award they're giving her. They had zero examples. They had no highlights to put in the reel. And she just posted this on Twitter. Like, guys, look at the good work I do at receiving this award for being a professional victim. (laughs) Here are her highlights. Uh, we got nothing, boss. Anyway, (laughs) continuing. She posted this onto her own Twitter, guys. God. Yeah, that's that's what they had to show for her good work absolutely nothing and they gave her the award (laughs) oh and you got to feel bad for these people because they're like hey here's this person who's this we hear is this advocate and we hear she's done all these amazing things Uh, but we have no examples but we got the award ready because nobody vets anybody anymore yeah it's it is jack murphy 2.0 honestly if it's just like a like i said before hey I was not, uh, I, you know, I didn't know up from down. My head wasn't right. I was getting pimped out by this one guy, but I was still trying to like, because like any drug addict can identify. I'm not, again, not saying she was a drug addict, that we try to leave normal lives, you know, while hiding our drug abuse. And we think we're so clever about it, but most people are on to us. It could have easily been explained, but the more you go, the more you nuke people from Twitter, they're going to, they're going to, you know what that's going to make people do? I'm stating the obvious here. It's going to make them work harder. They're going to be pissed or they're going to be, okay, you're obviously hiding something bigger. And I think that's what a lot of people are asking right now. Many of you are aware that dozens of YouTube creators, investigative reporters, and critics in general have been either banned or locked out of their Twitter accounts over the past 10 days. You've also been hearing way too much of one particular name, Eliza Blue. Here is why. Eliza Blue is the only, is most recent of nearly a half a dozen alias names this woman has used in the past few years. Eliza Motherland, her real name, or Morthland. Why did I say Motherland? Oh, call me! Uh, Eliza Morthland, Eliza Seeps. I don't even know how to say that one. Eliza Cuts. She says she says it's Sipe. I think Sipe. Is that how you get blue out of B L E U? Okay. She got okay. Fun fact. Fun fact. So people are saying she shows symptoms of Cluster B personality disorder. She actually got the name Blue from one of Kanye's models or something that had the last name Blue, like B L U E, the color. So she just took that and like stole it. She adopted that personality. So that's why she's Eliza Blue, from what I heard. This that's what I was saying. Single told. white female shit. This is getting crazy. Uh, <laughs> Eliza Cuts, uh, Eliza Knows, totally normal for someone to have five other names, right? Uh, sure. No, not really. Eliza Blue has chased fame her entire life from dating the lead singer of My Chemical Romance to a TV appearance on The Steve Harvey Show and a dating show Blind Date. Uh, She also appeared in no less than four rap videos as a video vixen. Her words, it's more than four now, isn't it? I count it like seven or eight Okay. from what I found. But in her resume, she says it's over 20. So we've only found less than half of them, by the way. Oh, boy. Here And then here is where things get spicy. Just under two weeks ago, one particular video resurfaced on the Internet. One of the last four known rap videos that starred Eliza Blue, Nose, Spears, whatever, uh, Motherland, a video that had been on YouTube for over six years. Nothing about the video was remarkable. The only thing of note was Eliza Blue's response. Eliza Blue immediately leveraged her deep connections at Twitter, which is true. Well, it's certainly looking true. Let's put put it that way. Uh, to begin locking out anyone who posted the publicly available video claiming it was non-consensual. Twitter, head of trust and safety, publicly backed her numerous times 
The only problem here is she lied. She was excited about the video. She begged World Star Hip Hop to produce the video. She paid. She pitched the video directly to World Star Hip Hop. She pitched the video and she is on video going, yeah, yeah, like I'm totally happy with this. She was blessed and almost hissed herself in quotes to be around the fancy equipment proof below. Eliza, is there an audio? Oh, that's this? the audio that was banned, by the way. Oh, that shit. audio right there. Can we yeah. play it? The guy got banned for it. I was blessed to work with one of the dopest directors in the game. Like, the video guys. In literally, the game, like, right? Hey, Shit. Resume, I was so blessed. <laughs> she blacked out. You know what I mean? To work with him. He, he had a Red Dragon camera, and I almost pissed myself because it was like a Red Dragon camera is so expensive. And I'm over here like, dang, World Star took a chance on me. You know what I mean? And now I got this mm. red dragon camera. Wow. Yeah, girl. It was just very, 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 very humbling. And it's still to this moment. You know what I mean? I'm never going to be on e entertainment television. I'm never going to be on TMZ. You know what I mean? Unless I do something crazy or stupid. Like, mm -hmm. I'm never going to reach one. Wow. Oh, she made the news all right. Oh, she she made did. The news. <laughs> be careful what you wish exactly, for. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was through technically the means she said, just not in the way she would have probably wanted it but she's probably honestly speaking she probably is enjoying the clout even if it is negative people like her they really thrive off of that now this this clip is long but i'll just tell you what she said she's talking to her mom here and she's like have you seen my videos mom mom's all yeah they're they're funny they're cool mom didn't seem too judgmental about her like eliza says like i shake my booty <laughs> and mom just kind of chuckles you know, nothing wrong with that, but this doesn't sound like, especially con it conflicts with the timeline, and it doesn't sound like somebody is trafficked. Again, provide evidence that you were. I understand there's danger involved and stuff. It just doesn't feel that way. And man, the accusations, if they, if they are true, and it's certainly looking that way, grifting off of this subject, this particular subject, pretty low. Pretty freaking low to state the obvious. NerdRotic.com. Please subscribe. Hey, if you like what we do here at NerdRotic Daily, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you could do that with your favorite YouTuber as well, I'm sure they would appreciate it as much as I do.